the word of God is the wisdom of God. When you expose yourself to the word of God, your faith will grow and increase. The word of God brings stability into our lives because it does not change. So what God says, we can depend on it. It doesn't change. And so we renew our minds to think the way God wants us to think. My thoughts are renewed in line with the word of God. I see through the eyes of the world where the knowledge of the word of God is there, faith is there. The word informs our actions. How am I supposed to do it? They come and they tell us, you know, just trust God, just speak the word, you know, just speak the word. What are you talking about? Except somebody breaks it down in a way that you can relate with it, you will not understand what the key issue is. And once you don't have the key issue, you don't have a... Now, the office we're going to be dealing with today is so vital. This is also an office where that can destroy and set people on a trajectory that is headed for destruction, even though they think that they are still in Christ. They may no, not be in Christ any longer without knowing it. And that is the office of a teacher. Let's, let's go to our text, you know, where we have always started from in Ephesians chapter 4. He said, there is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called into the hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it? But that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is same also that ascended up above all heavens, that he might feel all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love will grow, may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual walking in the measure of every part, make an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. And I did say that we should be, take note of the fact that it says until we all come to the unity of the faith, the knowledge of the Son of God, hallelujah, unto a perfect man, the gifts are going to remain there until we become perfect, all right? And the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, for what in, to what intent? That we be not tossed to and fro. Amen? and carried about by every, every wind of doctrine. Teachers are very important in the body of Christ. Though as the, as the body has grown and come to the place where it is right now, praise the Lord, the office of a teacher and that of a pastor somewhat intermingle, but those offices are still different. Most pastors are teachers. In fact, for you to operate well, in the office of a pastor, you should be